Welcome to an artist life. I live by the sea in New England, and I love to share my quiet, simple life of art and garden and home. So I hope you will feel that you can come and join me. Welcome to an artist life. Good morning, everyone. Una and I are just enjoying our morning tea and the high tide. We have a high tide today because we have such a, uh, the full moon last night was so big. I think it's called a pink moon. It was so big and full. So of course, when the moon is full, the tides are always higher and lower. So today we have an interesting high tide. So Una and I are gonna head down and have a little beach comb and then we'll come back to our cup of tea. Let's go. So Una and I just popped in to our magnolia tree here. Can you hear the birds chirping? I love our magnolias. It's really pretty. So I'm going to take a couple of cuttings and I'm just going to do a simple little arrangement. I don't even know if I would call it an arrangement. I'm just going to cut some pretty flowers and we'll stick them in a vase. Maybe. I'll put it in the plant room or maybe on the dining room table. And speaking of flowers or plants, this dust, these dusty millers, this pot isn't normally setting here. This pot normally sets out front, but the old dusty millers have been growing hardly all winter long. So I got some more Dusty Millers for this year because they're such a great plant. The deers don't eat them. They last forever. So we'll see. Well, let's get some other forsythia and uh, maybe some daffs. Right, Una? Come on, Una. Let's get out of here. Let's go get to, uh, to the daffs. Okay, Una, here we are. Let's cut some daffs. I know. She doesn't let me out of her sight. So let's just hop out to the terrace and with a simple uh, clear vase, I'm going to just uh, trim up some forsythia to sort of give me a base to build on. Now I'm going to sort of just speed through this because I wouldn't really call this a tutorial because I feel like when you have spring branches of flowering shrubs and trees and then beautiful things like daffs and other flowers, you can just cut and stick things together and they look lovely. So let's just hop into the plant room and you can see how lovely the daffs look and 
mixed with the magnolia. Oh, and then I also have the bright red flowers and yellows. Those are wallflowers or ringiums. And uh, I couldn't help but get some of those because I love the scent of those. And those start blooming this time of the year. And of course, we still have our sweet little fairy garden with our fox. And then the lovely view on a sunny day from the plant room. I hope I don't scare him away. But as I mentioned, the blue herons and the snowy egrets and the osprey come back as they are migrational birds. And here you see one of the blue herons on top of the spitting rock. Doesn't he look majestic? They're amazing to watch fish. Oh, and there's the pair of ducks, and there's Algernon Seagulls down there. Oh, there he goes. I want you to see him fly. Because see how his legs hang out the back? And early in the morning when they fly across our view of our window here in our sitting room, especially on a foggy day, it's like living in a Japanese paint, uh, watercolor or an ink painting. They're long legs draped behind and they move their wings so slowly flapping through the fog it doesn't even look as if it would hold them abreast but it does a lovely day sun setting high tide glistening Algernon on the tortoise rock his wife paddling down below and that funny pair of ducks I have to see what kind of ducks those are, but they've been around quite a bit. Oh, and there's a little plover down there. See that little plover down there? He's just about to hunt. See the ducks are just passing him now? <laughs> now plovers are uh, amazing little birds because they lay their eggs in our rocky sand and they look just like the rocks. You have to be careful when you're walking. But their chicks are born precocious, like chicken chicks. So when they hatch, they have the ability to see and hop about, unlike songbirds that are blind and featherless. And so the sweet little downy chicks, which also blend in with the rocks, follow them around. So we have so many wonderful birds to watch. The plover, the gull, the ducks, the heron. It's a birder's paradise for sure. That's a quiet, lovely way to put an end to a quiet day. And now the sound of the waves. And soon we'll have our candy floss sunset. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed my short vlog I am hoping to continue with uh, more frequent uh, but shorter vlogs as I've just been feeling lately as if I wanted to feel more a part of my daily routine. And as the spring and the summer approaches, my routine gets busier, not only with my own artwork to make, but gardens to do, houses to repair, <laughs> and uh, things to manage with my other little cottage. So I hope you'll uh, stick around and enjoy my shorter vlogs and uh, remember, to like and share and comment. And until next time, remember, stay creative. Cheers. <laughs>